tucked away in the southern corner of Mpumalanga near the Gauteng border, and only an hour from Oatambo Airport, lies the tiny village of Fal. With only 38 inhabitants, of which 28 are policemen, and history as old as the mountains, this is truly an interesting and unusual destination for the tourist interested in geology, history, archaeology, photography, bird watching, exploring, or simply just enjoying the peace and quiet in the heart of the South African Platteland. The village of Fall came into existence when Joseph Smith, being a keen businessman, built a hotel and shop across the street of the newly established railway station in 1896. During the Anglo-Boer War, British soldiers were stationed at the village. Two Victoria Crosses were won to honour the brave deeds of British soldiers, and many a skirmish was fought in the immediate area. Monuments were erected to mark these historical events, such as the hilarious whiskey train incident. Before peace was declared, Boer leaders met at the hotel to discuss the terms of the peace treaty, and an album containing the historical photos of this event may be seen in the museum. In 1914, when Mahatma Gandhi went on his peace march from Charlestown to Johannesburg, the crowd became much too big to the liking of the government, and fearing riots, he was arrested and had to spend the night in jail at Fall. As the years passed, Fall became a busy hub for local farmers, with a mill, co-op, police station, church, railway station, and many other amenities. When the railway station closed down in the 1970s, the town showed a steady decline, and most activities came to a halt for nearly 20 years. In 1994, the hotel was bought on auction, and the new owners restored it to its former glory. Their aim was to uplift the whole town, and 10 years later they bought the shop, which is today a restaurant, antique shop and museum. The old bank, bookkeeper's offices, post office and station became annexes to the hotel. Each room has its individual style, whilst the character of the buildings remained undisturbed. The town welcomes tourists with warm, unpretentious, platulant hospitality. Visitors may wish to explore the area's many interesting and historical spots. Accompanied by a registered tourist guide who will tailor make tours to suit your needs. Regular events occasionally turn this sleepy village into a hub of activity. Music festivals, cultural events, weddings and celebrations are intermitted by quiet and peaceful periods for those seeking rest and relaxation. Come to follow and make it your secret.